Oh, well, my favorite Moonbeams. I know this video is a bit overdue, but uh, I have been busy a bit lately, and uh, it's been with the Knights of Columbus and uh, Taekwondo and uh, things have been things have calmed down now, more or less. Uh, for the next three months, I will be preparing for my black belt test. So, you might not be seeing any videos for a while because I'm getting ready to take my first down black belt in Taekwondo. With that said, uh, whoever, if you're a Sherwin, raise your hand. Okay, you can put your hands down. The Sherwins are related to me on my mother's side. Uh, to my grandmother, Ruth. If you're a Masters, you can raise your hand and put it down. They're related to me on my mother's side to my grandpa Herbert. <sighs> if you're Langendorf or Langendorfer, uh, you can raise your hand and put it down. They are related to me on my dad's side to my grandmother Rose. Uh, and if you're a Berkey, you can raise your hand there, because, again, my father's side, due to the fact that, as my dad's biological father. And if you are Ryan, raise your hand. Your last name is Ryan, raise your hand. And they are related to me because my dad was adopted by a man named Gene Ryan. So, and my grandmother Rose married him. So. And my grandmother Rose has uh, four children with Gene Ryan, so I am biologically related to the Ryans. Uh, I bring this up because Stevie Ryan, uh, may she rest in peace, took her life a few weeks ago, and my grandmother Rose is dead, as is Jean Ryan, and all the others I've mentioned. <sighs> now, uh, for a movie to review, I think I should review Warriors of the Wind, as it pertains to Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, and that's been on my mind lately. And people have been saying Warriors of the Wind sucks, and I have apparently Robin Barry Carter of Anime America wants to get her hands on a copy of Warriors of the Wind to see how bad it sucks. And Studio Ghibli, I heard, think, has reviewed that movie and said it sucks. And I'm like, I saw this movie when I was 10 years old. I saw Warriors of the Wind when I was 10. 
and I thought it was a good movie. I saw it again when I was 18 years old. And again, thought it was a good movie. I never saw the uncut version until they brought it to DVD. And that I was like, what did they do to it? My sister's like, this is the uncut version. I'm like, oh. She's like, this is how it was in the manga. I'm like, oh, that's what they did. To it. So, <sighs> Warriors of the Wind. Originally, in Warriors of the Wind, her name was Princess Sandra. You know how they have the debate about Sandra Bullock, Sandra Bullock, and she's always saying her name is Sandra Bullock. Well, in the Warriors of the Wind, the princess's name is Sandra, or Sandra. Warriors of the Wind, the princess's name is Princess Sandra. And the little fox squirrel, his name is not Tato, but Foxy. And uh, Sandra's uncle, the old man who we see at the beginning of the movie, and who's voiced by Patrick Stewart in Nazca the Valley Wind, is called Lord Yupa, or Japa. They call him Lord Joppa in the uh, in Warriors of the Wind. So, so you have Princess Sandra, Foxy, Lord Joppa, and those are pretty much the basic main cuts that they've cut out. Other than the fact that you do not see Princess Sandra's little secret room where they where she's uh, building up those plants and uh, she's cutting off the and she's telling Lord Joppa that she's going to kill the plants off and the plants are actually not toxic but that they do have uh, that they are, that's the soil and the water that is toxic. That's basically the only differences between Nazca the Valley of Wind and Warriors of the Wind. Asbel is still named Asbel. And you still have the same premise. Sandra uh, it starts out with Lord Joppa going through the toxic jungle, finding the uh, finding the ruined city. It's like another city ruined. It has the narration just like the just like Nausicaa has narration, Warriors of the Wind has narration. Um, then, then it goes through the opening credits, and you see the it's pretty much the same opening credits, if I remember correctly. Except for the fact that you see that the opening logo is. Uh, the three bar, a bunch of bars coming down to make a circle. And then, uh, then you see Princess Sandra for the first time, just uh, like you do. Uh, flying, I think she's flying in her glider. And then you see 
her land, her glider. It's a bit noisy today because, well, two of our picking cherries next door. Anyways, Princess Sandra's, she lands her glider and she's going through the toxic jungle. And then you see her find the giant om. Oh, they are not called Ohm in Where's the Wind. They are called Gorgons. In Where's the Wind, they are called Gorgons, not Ohm. So she finds a giant Gorgon shell, not a giant Ohm shell. So, so you have the giant gorgons, and uh, the gorgons are the big ohm. Personally, I prefer gorgons. It, it sounds cooler. Makes you think of Medusa. Went to Burger King today because. Uh, because the coffee hour was closed at our church, Mr. Columbus was supposed to have put was supposed to was drafted, but we didn't have volunteers, and our church has so many different organizations that they could have asked any other organization, but they had to ask our organization. But anyway, went to work instead. By the way, if Burger King is interested in uh, sponsoring my channel, I wouldn't uh, be objected to that. Anyways, back to not back to, back to where's the wind? They're called the giant gorgons, and she finds this gorgon shell, and um, and then uh, she. Stabs the thing, finds out that it can chip her blade, and she does all the thing, powder around the eyeball, and gets the eye off. Um, I don't think they had the. I think they cut out the scene where the palms are s snowing on her and she falls asleep but she does hear the but she does hear the explosion and she goes to check out the explosion of her uncle and she finds out that it's her That was a jeep. Get out of here. Anyway, she finds out their uncle is in in danger, and she uses the flash bombs and the and the bug charm. Um. Sandra uses bug charm and uh, then um, then she runs to Lord Joppa and greets him just like she does in the in Oscar and she finds out that he's got uh, Foxy in her in his pocket and he's like. And he tells her how he got Foxy, how the bug had him, and uh, my opinion, my I have a little sort of fan fiction going on about Foxy, about him being not what he what he appears, but that's my little fan fiction. So. Uh, but anyways, um, and 
Anyways, Foxy is in her. He 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 runs up on her and he he jumps on her shoulder just like he does, and just like and he bites her, just like they show in the Nausicaa. And instead of saying nothing to fear, she says, "He won't hurt me unless, as long as he knows that I'm a friend." That's what she says. That so they do change the wording around. Personally, I like the "He won't hurt me so long as he knows I'm a I'm a friend." Versus the uh, nothing to fear stuff. And. Then. Uh, they go. Then she gives him the. Eye, the eye of the Gorgon. And she flies off to the city. Uh, everyone greets the Lord Joppa. Like we do in the movie. Like we do in. Nasca. Um, and um, and so Sandra gets to the city and her father's name is Jeel, just like in the Nausicaa. And, um, and anyways. Jill's dying of the because he spent too much time in the forest, and um, so the and she finds out about the legend on the corner of the tapestry, and. Um, that's the thing. And uh, she's like, and she's in her bedroom wondering what her, what her, what her destiny is. And then, um, and so the aircraft comes down. Like it does in Nazca, the uh, and she saves the princess by, or she doesn't save the princess. The princess does tie, but uh, she uses her knife to cut the princess's bonds, just like she does in the Nazca. And, uh, and, uh, and then, uh, then they, she's like, well, I don't want any more bloodshed types. I mean, that's all the same. Anyways, she goes to her father's aid and finds out that he's been assassinated and goes on a tirade. And Tato is in the wall with his claws out, which is where my fanfiction comes into play. So that uh, Tato is more of a mutate who has. Um, given up his human form to be a fox squirrel. He's sort of uh, like um, like uh, uh, 
like he's sort of like uh, Wolverine meets um, uh, Mystique. He has the ability to shapeshift, and he lives a very long time. And he can uh, survive in the. And he can survive any poisons. Superhero, do we know who's like that? Well, anyways. He's uh, given up his human form to be um, to be a fox squirrel, and uh, because he's like, yeah, I'm done with the whole human race thing. Screw you guys, I'm go home type attitude. Because he has no home to go to, he decides to be a fox squirrel and live in the woods. And that's when Lord Joppa finds him, and he becomes Sandra's pet. And he just, he's just like, I want to attack these guys, but I'll just be her pet instead. Like, I really want to, but do I dare give up my fox girl? No, I'll just stay fox girl. So he, he remains a fox squirrel versus going into a human. He doesn't want to go back to being human. He'd rather be a fox squirrel. That's my fanfiction on ta on uh, Foxy. Anyway, is that uh, he's a mutate uh, who has given up his humanity? Of course, uh, Studio Ghibli can always debunk that, but uh, they can also go with it. Because I know that Studio Ghibli isn't a super. But, uh, anyways, Foxy's in the wall, and he's got his claws out, and he's angry, and so they got to her being all, like, angry, and then she's like, I don't want any more bloodshed, And uh, she, so she's taken prisoner by the uh, by the princess by the by the other country. And um, and. Uh, after she's taken hostage, then just like then they're attacked by the by that princess by the dead princess's brother uh, by Asbel's brother by Asbel, and then. Uh, And then the ship blows up, she takes the gunship, they land in the forest, they land in the toxic forest, just like uh, in Nausicaa, she takes off her mask, they were like, put your mask back on, you know, hurt yourself, or your, the wind, the uh, air's poison, and she's all like, yeah, thumbs up, guys, and... Then she runs into that, but he's like, who are you? And she's like, when you try to shoot down. And so they 
they crash land into the just like in Nazca they crash land into the quicksand and he's all like kind of glider and she's like oh we can breathe here and just like Nazca it's like kinder glider we can breathe here Don't say anything about it being like uh, the sand in her room because, like I said, that scene was cut out. The whole room scene was cut out, so. Uh, and then uh, they go to his country and they find out that the. Gorgons have totally devastated his country, and uh, the guy who is Mark Hamill in Nazca the Valley of Wind is out to get the Valley of the Wind, just like he is in the in Nazca, and she's taken prisoner again by Asbel's people. And She's in the room, and, uh, and so there's the girl that takes her place. Anyways, there's the girl that takes her place. And um, she trades her clothes for the other girl's clothes, and and just like in the movie, she asks, just like in Nasca, she Sandra asks who the woman is, and she tells her that she's Asbel's mother, and she's like, and she falls, and then the the other girls like hurry up, and so. And she's like, well, will she be okay? And her you know, mother's like, yeah, she's fine. And then, uh, and Asbel gets uh, her glider out, and she gets, she gets, uh, take, she gets out of the ship, and they get forced into the clouds, just like in Nazca. And then, uh, just like in Alaska, she finds out that they're going to use the baby Gorgon to lure the anyways. Nazca's finds out that the baby gorgon is going to be used to lure the other gorgons to the valley of the wind and destroy it. And so, just like in Alaska of the Wind, she uses the zip line and takes them out. And the baby gorgon is bleeding out, turns her clothes blue. And tries getting, going to the acid lake. She's, she's like, can't go to the lake. It's acid. Her foot gets soaked by the acid. And she's all like, and then she's like, you're feeling better. I'm glad. And then, uh, it's like in 